FMD is recommended for like five, a five day fast, right? Uh, or a five day period. So could it be used longer or shorter depending on uh, the person? I think that the um, clinical trials should, should drive this, right? So, um, and, uh, and also uh, very soon, I think we're gonna publish data on you know, people that have, uh, thousands of people that have done the, the fasting making diet and, and the report on, uh, on toxicity and all of that. Um, yeah, so I think uh, that people should uh, should uh, stick with uh, what's clinically tested, uh, yeah. and particularly what's uh, what has both preclinical and clinical tests. So lots of animal data. Uh, so for example, the fasting making diet we we used the on mice that are middle aged, right? And we did two or three different studies now. And what happens if you give it all the way to very old age, right? To a mouse. And those are very good because you never know, right? So, for example, people thought, well, maybe um, stem cells are depleted uh, after you do it too many times. Or maybe uh, you can promote uh, uh, cancer by, uh, you know, activating uh, cancer stem cells, you know. So, of course, none of that we saw. And we saw the opposite, you know, uh, tumor rates drop dramatically. And, and um, um, but, but I think it just underlines the, the importance of having the preclinical work the clinical work, and then um, and then it's ready. I think for people to uh, to do it. You know, I think before that, it, 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 I, I would say that's not a good idea. And I think the medical community are, already agrees. So I think not too many people. Uh, we knew that the vaccine, the mRNA vaccines, uh, worked a long time ago, but uh, um, that uh, we had to wait until FDA approval for before people. Um, uh, receive them. And I think people underestimate the power of fasting. Uh, and that's about, uh, I always say it's about the, the most powerful drug uh, you'll ever have. Um, it, it, it for sure, and this is a challenge that I always have. I say, you know, I, I challenge anyone to come up with any cocktail of drugs that is not lethal to people, um, that is safe, uh, they will cause more gene expression changes than the fasting or the fasting making diet. And so it's still a challenge and nobody's ever, uh, ever come back with, uh, I, I, nobody's ever even come back with, I think this could beat it. Right. So, so that's interesting. Right. Kind of like exercise, really. Um, so well, exercise is going to be a lot lower than if you look at gene expression, a lot lower. I mean, it probably maybe an order of magnitude difference. Yeah. So if you think about exercise, it's causes a lot of changes. But it doesn't, for example, during fasting, your brain goes from 100% uh, sugar based to 50 50 ketone body sugar. So, and most people have never even activated the, these pathways in the brain in their entire life, right? Um, you know, so exercise is a, it's a push, you know, it's taking something that you do all the time and making it, uh, increasing the level, increasing the, the um the 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 speed uh, but is not uh, doing something that you never done before right so yeah so that's that's a difference that and the same thing for for the liver same thing for the blood i mean it's if you look at the blood of a person a day five of a fasting making diet you 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 see a true revolution of everything yeah uh so yeah that wouldn't be the same if you look at uh, at exercise for example if you look at exercise and igf1 levels there is very little changes. In fact, there's in, in, in several studies, there are no changes at all. Um, and uh, yeah, th and that already tells you that the growth pathways are pretty much, the, the, the most central pathways that are involved in aging and diseases are not altered at all by exercise. We talked a little bit about clinical trials. So I, and I, I looked at your website, you have a lot of clinical trials on kind of cancer and other diseases. So do you have many clinical trials on healthy people? Not many clinical trials, but uh, multiple, right? So we, we published one in 2017 and 100 uh, healthy people, relatively healthy people. We are about to start another one in, um, uh, in Southern Italy. It's going to have 500 uh, uh, healthy people, a third of them are going to go on the fasting mimicking diet. 
And, uh, and there is lots of trials that we run. We ran, for example, we are about to publish one with people that are hypertense, but they're receiving drugs. So they're relatively normal. Um, and so, yeah, so I think that uh, there are um, a few uh, that have been published, even the one, for example, hormone therapy, they're women receiving hormone therapy, they're relatively normal again. Um, but, um, yeah, so I, I would say, I think just one, um, and, uh, you know, where the selection criteria was that you had to be, uh, relatively healthy. Right. Um, so how often, so, so we say like, it should be five days cause that's the, the, the period that's been kind of looked at. So how often, what, what would be the parameters that would help you decide how often per year you, you should do a five day fast? Yeah, I think that the parameter should be your doctor, your experienced doctor, not just any doctor, because most doctors will say, don't, don't do it. And, um, um, or a nutritionist or a dietitian that has customer experience. I, I understand that there are not too many, but you know, we, uh, I've been training uh, with, uh, with lecturers, the American Dietetic Association. Um, we, I've been doing lots of, uh, you know, uh, lots of, uh, in functional medicine, uh, lots of uh, integrative medicine talks, you know, conferences. Uh, so I think, you know, doctors are, are, are starting to, um, to uh, be familiar with some of this. And, um, and hopefully, you know, we're going to see the population. Uh, I think now there are, um, you know, over 10,000 doctors in the United States that, that recommend the fasting mimicking diet. Um, but I, I don't think it's mainstream yet. And so at some point, hopefully, as the clinical trials are, are, are going to be published, uh, uh, we're going to see more and more doctors. Um, I mean, the way I envision it, you know, in my very biased opinion, um, is that, um, you know, this should be part of the toolkit of the endocrinologist, should be part of the toolkit of, of the oncologist, uh, uh, of the cardiologist, et cetera, et cetera, you know, the internal medicine. So that they have an option, right? So if there's that, somebody's just diagnosed with diabetes, you know, uh, can you bring this person back? And, you know, we've shown with many, many patients that we can do that um, by a combination of the longevity diet and the fasting making diet. So, so I think that that's not at this stage uh, at, in the toolkit of the physician, uh, but I think it should be. It. Okay. So on FMD, what is allowed? So am I allowed coffee or tea, black coffee or tea? Uh, tea, yes, it's part of the FMD. Uh, black coffee uh, is, um, uh, I always say, is, uh, is allowed only if you're about to quit the FMD. Um, so if you get to the point where, you, where somebody says, I can't do it, you know, uh, yeah, then, uh, then, um, then coffee should be allowed. Yeah. One, one a day. One a day. Okay. That would be difficult without coffee. Is well, but that's but 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 I think people underestimate the importance of difficult. So earlier you mentioned exercise. I think the importance of exercise is not just the physiological benefit; it's also the difficult part, right? So the challenge that it provides, and people underestimate how how, how that component, how important that component. It shouldn't be a, such a big challenge, you know. So if you say to somebody, you should. Uh, run uh, 50 miles a week you know yeah it's tough and it's very good but nobody's going to do it long term if you say you know you could jog uh, six miles a week i would say you know lots of people are now going to say okay this probably may be doable for me maybe i can bike or, or, or do something else so it's the same is true for for the fasting making diet i think let's not underestimate that the small but significant challenge uh, and the fact that, you know, skipping uh, coffee, for example, is part of that challenge. And it might also be part of that, that getting rid of things that you're, you may be addicted or close to addicted to. Okay. So is the fasting mimicking diet kind of available worldwide? Can anyone get it? Many countries, not everywhere, but many countries in Europe, uh, Asia, um, I think the Middle East now, South America, you know, certainly North America. Yeah, so it's, it's getting there, but uh, may take a few more years to get everywhere.